movement towards uh, providing environmentally based investments at Nedbank. We've seen that there's a lot of there's often a complete misnomer around the idea that they'll they'll underperform. We've often seen outperformance, and so this is, has really spoken to the Nedbank story of saying these things are important, these things are material, and now let us go that extra step of not just having index, which is an intellectual tool, but actually having investments that are part of the bank's offering in terms of savings and investments. And the first step with that was that in December 2011, as part of uh, during COP17, we launched the, the B Green Exchange Traded Fund, which tracks the Nedbank Green Index. What is interesting about, about an ETF is, of course, because it's listed on the JSE, it's regulated by the JSE, and they keep a close eye on it. But there's also an option with the ETF that you can also have it regulated by the FSB and register it as a collective investment scheme. And that gives a whole other layer of protection to the investments for your, your end client. So it, it's quite nice in that respect. What's also interesting about an ETF is you can use it in quite a lot of ways. So one of the ways you could use it is you can use it as a long-term holding and say climate change, long-term issue, and build it into a portfolio as part of a sort of a 10-year, 5-year holding, which is really looking to get the most out of the methodology. What we've also seen some people talking about is because we've seen this outperformance, what can they do with that? So some people are saying, well, is there an opportunity for more speculative short-term trading? Now, obviously, this is entirely up to their, their, them, but the use that they could use is some people look at, well, what happens if they go short one and long the other? Can they elicit some of the outperformance? So there's a number of ways you can, you can use the ETF. It can be used for short-term purposes. It can be used for long-term purposes. You can park your money in that if you want to still be getting an equity return, but you're actually looking for uh, to make, say, a stock, a stock picking selections of your own where you only invest in five companies, but you want equity performance in the short term. So there's a lots of different ways that an ETF can be used because of the fact that it's listed like a share, and so it has the attributes of a share, but it's also a collective investment scheme and so it has the attributes of a unit trust, which gives it a quite a nice dualism. Then what we did with the ETF is our, is our life area, Ned Group Life, looked at the product and said, okay, well, can we even take this an extra step? And so what they did is they came up with a guaranteed version of the exchange traded fund plan, which is inside a life wrapper. And what's interesting about this is it gives you a different type of risk return exposure. So obviously the ETF itself is a poor equity play. You know, it has the same attributes of risk and return as any other equity instrument. The difference uh, with introducing a guarantee is you start to get a more blended profile. It's a structured product and so it has attributes of both more of a fixed income product as well as having this equity component to it because you create a floor and they have two versions of the product. One with a 100% guarantee which has a lower link to equity at the moment 65% and an 80% return which has 100% exposure. So it gives this different types of risk return profile to investors to say, if you want an environmentally conscious investment based on these kind of principles, you can do it in a whole different number of ways, depending on the risk return profile that is appropriate to you and appropriate to your circumstances. Then we've even gone a step further and done another green product which has different profile, and that is the green bonds, the green savings bonds offered by Nedbank Retail. And this is really in the space, the emerging space around the world, around saying how are we going to fund everything that the world needs to do in terms of climate change? How are we going to leverage up renewable energy at the, spa at the pace which is needed? And so one of the answers to the question is, well, let's have green bonds, bonds that are specifically linked to these kinds of initiatives, but have certain other attributes in terms of their fixed in normal fixed income instruments. So the Nedbank Green Savings Bond has, like the World Bank Savings Bond, is linked to Nedbank's credit profile. So you're not linked to the renewable energy projects themselves. You're linked to Nedbank's risk in the same way as anything you invest with Nedbank in terms of a normal fixed deposit. So it's the same credit rating, but you have a commitment from Nedbank that the money is being earmarked against the renewable energy work which is being done in capital. And we've seen with the, the whole movement of the government about the rollout of renewable energy, Nedbank's been a big player. So we have these projects, and, and here's a, a, a participation. We're not just going to say, oh, we're going to deal with this in South. We're saying to our retail clients, come on board with us, take this journey, and be part of, of the renewable energy future for South Africa. 
And what it does is it adds to this array that we have everything now, if you're environmentally conscious, from pure equity to pure fixed income. So depending on your risk return profile as an investor, you can actually, if these things matter to you, find whatever you need across the spectrum through NetBank.